Moving on into the next step is Category B. Category B is mandatory protection, and that is comprised of three subcategories, B1, B2, and B3, in increasing orders of protection. Category B1 is more secure than Category C2. It's called labeled security. In addition to all the C2 category restrictions, B1 systems must also ensure that every subject and object has a security label. Increasing the security even further, we have structured protection. Category B2 must also have labels, but in addition to security labels, must provide assurance that no covert channels exist. A covert channel is a way of communicating through a non-authorized channel by copying data of one security level to an unauthorized security level using interesting strategies, either timing channels or using communication channels. Typically, there are software faults or backdoors or some other mechanisms that's used outside the standard communication protocol. Structure protection systems have to ensure that no covert channels, no opportunities exist to communicate secure data outside the secure environment. Last but not least in the mandatory protection category is category B3, security domains. Security domain systems require security labels plus the assurance that no covert channels exist, plus a positive isolation of all unrelated processes ensures that no process could write to or read from the memory location or memory area of another process. This ensures that any process that is running in processor mode or privilege mode cannot affect any process that's not running in privilege mode and vice versa.